The Devil's Signature. Today we're going to be talking about the rapper Yeet and the possibility that he made bargains with demons to get to where he's at today. So not that long ago, a bunch of subscribers were telling me to look into the rapper Yeet and to take a look at his tattoos and his song lyrics. But before I get into all that, I'm going to give you a brief summary on who Yeet is. So Yeet is an American rapper. Noah Oliver Smith, known professionally as Yeet, is an American rapper, singer, songwriter, and music producer. Yeet is blowing up, but he's still in his early 20s. He's already building buzz and getting major cosigns from the likes of Drake, The Weeknd, Lil Yachty, and more. Born Noah Oliver Smith on February 26, 2000, the Portland rapper developed an early interest in music. Though he's been releasing music since he was a teen, Yeet reached mainstream popularity in 2021 with a release of tracks like Sorry About That and Money Twerk. His star power continued to rise to new levels with the release of Get Busy, which went viral on TikTok. His continued attention online helped him earn a joint venture deal with Field Trip Recordings and Geffen Records. Apparently, Yeet came up with his name while he was high. Everyone has a story about where they got their stage name from. For Yeet, that story starts with smoking weed. He said, I'm not going to lie, it was really like some high S-H-I-T. He said during an interview with our generation music, I just wanted to do something like one word and just make it simple and kind of relatable. People hear my name, they feel like they already heard of me for a while. He was known as Lil Yeet, but eventually dropped the Lil and just went by Yeet. Yeet says his style doesn't fit in one category. Like many artists of the new school, Yeet doesn't think his music can be put in a box. He started that he takes after Young Thug and Future, who can adopt to many different sounds. I feel like my style isn't really set on one thing, he explains. He said, I'd be having mad different vibes, mad different styles, the way I even my voice on different songs. I feel like I got that from listening to a lot of Thug SHIT. According to Yeet, he says he doesn't necessarily have a music process, he just goes with the flow. Whenever I feel like recording, I just record, he said. He also doesn't use an engineer, he usually just records himself and produces a lot of his own music using a template that the artist Will and previously gave him. I do everything myself. Now here's where things get really interesting. He said he thinks dropping acid helped influence him to rap. Yeet has attributed early drug use to helping him get into music. When he was younger, he dropped acid, also known as LSD. He said, I really think it helped open my mind and think about things differently. It didn't make me rap, but it kind of gave me the idea like I could do whatever I put my mind to, he says of the psychedelic drug. But what sparked his desire to pursue music more seriously, Yeet said, I probably wouldn't do acid anymore. So yeah, that was a brief summary in the rapper Yeet. So this rapper was very interesting. At first, I had no idea who this was until I listened to some of his music, such as Money So Big and Sorry About That. And I realized these were songs that went viral on TikTok a while ago. Now, one thing I've noticed about all his music, almost every song has something to do with the devil or the demonic, or at least references evil at least once. Now, Yeet has some very interesting tattoos. Yeet has a couple of tattoos that are actually sigils. One of his sigil tattoos is in a box. And before I go further into that, I'm actually going to explain what sigils are to those of you who are new to the whole sigil thing. So a sigil is a type of symbol used in magic, the term usually referred to a type of pictorial signature of a deity or spirit. In modern usage, especially in the context of chaos magic, sigil refers to a symbolic representation of the practitioner's desired outcome. And here's an example of a few famous sigils from the Lesser Keys of Solomon. It was a book written hundreds of years ago. Now, for thousands of years, sigils have been used as a pictorial signature of a type of spirit or deity. And these symbols would be used in rituals to get some kind of desired outcome, whether it was to get more power, to get more wealth, or to get a deity to help you in your career. And in witchcraft, the way this would be done is through the use of sigils. And each and every sigil was dedicated to a specific entity. Now, I am not too sure what type of sigil Yeet has, but it is for sure a sigil symbol. And this is quite possibly how he got famous especially because he admitted to being influenced by dropping acid. And as I've talked about before in my previous videos, psychedelic drugs and other mind-altering substances open you up to communion with wicked spirits. Now, Yeet said something interesting about his own tattoos in his song, Lying for Fun. So in the song, he states, Linked with the devil, told him I just need a signature, need his autograph. I never sold my soul, but I just donated it to you. I just tatted all that on me. Then it happened. It's too true. And a lot of his music is like that he constantly references the devil or evil or wickedness or like in one of his most famous songs that I heard for the first time on TikTok that went viral was called Money So Big. And he states, about to tell you how I'm doing. I got the devil on my phone. He told me keep doing this. Yeah, the devil taught me how to get rich. Yeah, how many bands? Six, six. So again, he constantly references the devil. So often when it comes to the music industry, musicians and rappers 
who mess with these sigils and do these rituals, they aren't allowed to talk about it publicly, but they always hint to it in their music, such as Yeet stating that he asked for the devil's signature, aka sigil, and he said he got it tatted on him. So it's quite possible that Yeet is having communion with wicked spirits through the use of sigils. I mean, he stated that acid opened him up to the possibility of becoming a singer. And that's the deal often that these singers and rappers make with these wicked spirits. They give them fortune and fame and music writing abilities. And in return, they promote wickedness. They promote lawlessness. They promote do what thou wilt. They promote wicked spirits and the devil. And since we're on the topic of sigils, I want to talk about one more thing. A while ago, I was on TikTok and this one guy popped up on my For You page. So in this one video, somebody said that the Island Boys sold their soul. And one of the Island Boys, I think his name is Fly Soldier, replies with, I didn't sell my soul, I worked hard for this. And this one guy stitches his video, who claims to have helped him do occult rituals through the use of sigils. That I sold my soul, I didn't sell my soul, I worked hard to get where I'm at. Oh, so that ritual we did never happened. Well, where did this come from? You know exactly what I'm talking about. The guy that stitched that video, he fully believes in the demonic and helps people do rituals through the use of sigils and other ritual occult practices. So yeah, very weird, strange, bizarre stuff. You know, this whole fairy tale thing with these rappers working hard, coming from something to nothing. I feel like people need to get more in tune with what's going on spiritually. And pay attention to the symbols, their lyrics, the rituals these musicians do. How they openly talk about the spiritual wickedness that they're having communion with. Putting people in a trance through the music. But yeah, very weird, bizarre stuff. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos and my interviews. If you'd like to support this channel, I do have a patron. Feel free to join, link in bio. Joining my patron helps me find more time to do more of these videos and schedule more interviews. But yeah, I appreciate your guys' support. Please like, comment, and share, and we are out.